Hello and welcome to this Excel and SQL Server video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us the similarity between the Excel text join text function and the Microsoft SQL Server Concat WS string function. So let's get started please kindly consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the bell icon to get notification of new videos so let's see what the two function does in their respective technologies by the way they perform the same operation okay the text string in excel allows us to join two or more text string using specified delimiter and the concat ws allows us to do the same thing using specified delimiter in microsoft sql server by the way this ws simply means with a separator so let's see how to do this in excel and then we go to microsoft sql server so based on our data set we have first name last name and the middle name so let's combine the names to have full name so equal sign text join now the text join requires a delimiter so we want to use space now in excel you can just type in space and excel will understand no we've got to put that inside a double quote because it's going to be a string okay so we need double quotes and a space in between and another double quote okay and then we can put in a comma all right now the ignore empty is the second argument and of course we want to ignore cells when concatenating so press the tab key to select true then comma now for the text one all we need to do is to select the block of first name last name and the middle name and that will be a2 colon c2 close the parenthesis and control enter to retain the active cell and wow we have the full name so let's copy down the formula with the auto fill so i double click and we have the full name now let's swipe over to microsoft sql server all right so we we are in the microsoft sql server management studio and we have this select statement just a simple one we've selected the first name the last name the middle name from the person dot person schema and table name respectively so i have executed the code but let me just execute it for one more time so click on execute and we have all the three columns here the first name last name and the middle name now let's go ahead and use the concat ws string function so after the middle name i can put in a comma and then click enter for readability sake and then we can use the concat ws and open the parenthesis now just like in excel it requires the separator as the first argument so in microsoft sql server we use single quotes okay so single quote like this we don't use double quote just like in excel okay because this is also a string so single quote and then you can factor in the separator which in this case is a space so you can put in a comma now the concat underscore ws contains string one two three four and so on so for our string one we want to fetch the first name column comma for our string two we need the last name and for our string three we want the middle name and then we can close off the concat ws string function so we can select the code and click on execute and cool we have the full name we have said abbas e now in order to make the column to be more interesting let's just use an alias so i'm going to call this one as then we can use full full name now if you are using you know a text like this with a space in between you've got to put that inside a square bracket okay so i'm going to use square brackets so that the microsoft management microsoft server management today will be able to understand what we are communicating so this is the procedure the right way of doing it and then we can select the query and click on execute and then we have full name so by the way you can see that the concat ws 
perform exactly what the text join function in Excel did for us. So this is basically the similarity between the two functions across the Microsoft Excel and SQL Server technologies. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like, comment, share, and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.